My name's Ryan. I'm currently the boss man at Size Manchester. I collect quite a, quite a few, a lot of trainers, mainly like Air Max and uh, Jordans and stuff. So I'd probably say actually collecting shoes for about 10 years, so maybe since about 2013, 2012, something like that. I was first introduced to sneakers because I've always been into like hip hop. Um, so primarily it was like kind of like the fashion, like the full thing, like the outfit and the trainers, like I've always been big into that. Um, and then obviously MTV Cribs was a big thing. I remember watching Fat Joe's where he shows his sneaker collection and he pulls out a fresh pair of like Air Forces and he licks the bottom of them. That's just always like been something what stuck in my mind. Like I've always sat there and thought, I, I need that many pairs of trainers, do you know what I mean? So that's probably what, how I was introduced. Um, so I've not properly counted. I would say it's probably between like 110, 120. These ones are the A sides. Uh, they did the B sides as well, which was a black pair. It's all different, like limited Air Max 90s put together. Um, it's, they did it like record vinyls. So there's A side, B side. It actually tells you which Air Max 90s um, they're all based on. Like the little details are from different ones, like the laces. Obviously got the moon landing ones there with a the swoosh. Uh, you've got the stitching from the back, which is from like different Air Max 90. The first pair, what I can remember, like the first pair, what I actually chose myself, um, I must have been about eight or nine years old. I was with my mum or my uncle, and uh, we was in like a sports shop. And I, I seen like, a bright electric blue pair of like night trainers and um, they were called air max specters i don't think they've ever been retroed they didn't have laces on them it just had like a plastic strap on the top what you buttoned in and it had like a hard plastic blue air unit and like i've just never seen anything like that before and i was like i, I need them just because like they stood out so much and i've always been from a young age, like I've always been one of them what wanted to like, you know, kind of like stand out and have something a bit different. So yeah, first pair, what started it really was probably them ones. So this is the Air Max 90 uh, Independence Day, what really started off me collecting. Um, as you can see, it is beat up. Um, but a nice little story behind these. Um, so on release day, they released the white pair, red pair, navy pair. Uh, went down to size when it was the small one on Market Street and um, there was a bit of hustle and bustle in the shop like I didn't really know what was going on because I wasn't aware people wanted trainers that much at the time. Um, I remember going to, I think it was Rob, he was a store manager at the time being like yo have you got the navy pair and he was like nah but you can have the red in a size 9 if you want it and I was just like I want the navy ones and there was a guy behind me like I'll take I'll take the nine I'll take the nine in the red so I was a bit like oh and then I think he served that customer and he came up to me after Rob and he was like we should be getting the neighbors in tomorrow just make sure you're here at nine o'clock uh, the day after so yeah turned up the day after and he had a pair of size nines for me in the navy ones but yeah this is like the first pair what, what started it really the most appealing thing to me about collecting um it's got to be just having them them bits what nobody's seen before like I could go all week and then nobody like comments on the trainers and then all of a sudden you just get one person it's like yo like what are those like I, I really like that reaction of people do you know what I mean because if I see someone in some trainers what like I've not seen before or I know they're really hard to get I'd be the same like I'd stop and be like yo where have you got them or I'd let them know that, that you know it's a nice pair just kind of like that feeling, do you know what I mean? Not not everybody's into it, but you just get the odd person and it's like, yeah, they know. So that's kind of like the most appealing thing to me. These are the Major Taylor ones from 2007. Um, Major Taylor was like a cyclist. Um, I can't remember what year it was actually from. Um, but yeah, they did a pack. I think there was these, a pair of dunks and maybe a blazer, I think, was in the pack. So they've got nice little bits on the insole as well. Um, it's got like the 13 in there, I don't know if you can see it. It's got another little pattern in there. Um, the midsole paint actually all cracked off on these ones. Um, and I repainted them on myself, even the vault bit. Um, so that's like a little bit of a restoration on them ones. It's even got like the old size tag. 
from 2007. 89 pound 99 in there. So that's them ones, the major tailors. Um, and I've also got another Air Max 90 called King of the Mountains, which I found on eBay for like 28 pound, which is an absolute steal because on StockX or whatever, I think they're like 420 quid. The midsole paint had like completely like crumbled off. I still bought them anyway and actually repainted them and like did the speckle midsole myself. So yeah, it's probably them are two oldest pairs, 2007, 2008, like Air Max 90s. These are the Air Max 90 OG infrareds um, with the reef craft shape. Like I've had to clean this pair so many times, it's unreal just because they've got the white mesh toe box and they're currently due for another clean. Um, but I've just not done it yet. But this is like one pair where I could just have unlimited pairs of these and just wear them like 24 seven. I'm a big fan of actually wearing my trainers. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I try and act actively wear all my trainers so i wouldn't really go back to like trying to buy pairs from like 2001 just because i know they're not going to be wearable so it's kind of a mix from like i'd say 2010 to now probably like them a really underrated pair of air max 90s to be honest with you um again it's in the reef craft shape but i don't think it's ever been done before yeah, like the materials, what they use on the uppers and the panelings, just like, I think it's sick to be fair. But for me, absolute bangers then. I, could, I do wear them quite a lot. These are like my favorite size exclusive pairs, like Nike Air Max ones. Obviously you've got the 95s, um, which came out in 2020, which is a bit sad really, because obviously it was like lockdown and everything. So don't feel like they got the hype they deserved, but absolute unreal pair for me you don't see a lot of them about and like for him to get a collab like that with a mini swoosh on and different paneling i just think they're absolutely insane so yeah they, these i've got to be my, my favorite pair for the size exclusive air max i reckon and then probably like close second it's got to be the max one safaris again obviously they managed to get the mini swoosh in there i just think like trainer i do love a mini swoosh on like nikes in it so it's definitely winning it for me. Obviously, the Safari print, um, the shape's not too bad as well, but I've wore these a lot, as you can tell by the scuffs and marks and everything. But yeah, it's definitely up there with one of my favourites. Um, size exclusives, 100%. Hunting-wise, I'm constantly on eBay, like, looking to see what there is, if there's, like, any steals or anything. Um, obviously, Working in like the trainer industry, I kind of know what's what's coming out all the time. So I rarely have to like hunt for stuff, but I do I do scroll through eBay from time to time just to see if anything pops up for a good price. So these are just a couple of 95s. Obviously the OG ones, I think I'm on like my third pair in the sweaty 19 drop now. Um, I could just, like the Air Max 90 infrared, like if I just had these two pairs of trainers, constantly I don't think my collection would be as big because I could literally just wear these every single day, like the colorway is so, so nostalgic from like being a kid. And obviously it is like a classic. I don't think you can get a better colorway than that on a 95. Um, little bit of a special one. Got the Atmos Beast Pack. Obviously the older ones are not wearable, but these, I've worn these quite a lot, but pony hair, obviously Atmos as well. Um, I couldn't not buy these ones, they're absolutely sick. These get a lot of comments when I wear these, like, do you know what I mean? Even the older heads, like, who used to wear 95s and stuff, always comment on, like, where did I get these? So these are definitely like a head turner. And I love wearing these ones, but I'm a bit conscious about the pony hair. So I tried to retire them for a bit. Uh, and this is one of my newer ones. Again, like, I like underrated trainers, like, it's not just all hype, and I think these, probably the most underrated 95 ever uh, yeah last year like i think they're absolutely sick the anatomy of air pack uh, so there's a couple of colorways but like the details on these like on the panels and materials and stuff uh, on the tongue and again like and the air unit underneath but i think these went into sale as well but massively slept on i think um, a really good 95 that probably would have sold out but yeah 
I think these are so underrated and they're absolutely sick. My my personal favourite pair, um, it's going to be pretty like simple. It's got to be like the infrared 90s or the OG 95 or the Air Max 97 gold bullet. Like I'm a big fan of OG colourways and them three are just like staples for me what I've always wanted in my collections.